To make a successful machine shop, you need the right machines and a very happy operator. Well, they've certainly got that here at A&G Precision with their Matsura H Plus 300. Robbie, you purchased the H Plus 300 Matsura machine just over a year ago now. What was the reason behind the purchase? Mainly for, uh, we don't need a night shift operator to run it on nights and uh, for weekend work really. Uh, it can run all, all weekend and we don't need an operator here. So with Matsura, they're after that 99% of, you know, of time that that spindle is running. Do you feel that the machine is as efficient here at A&G for you? Yes, definitely. Uh, like I said, on the weekends, we don't have an operator here. Uh, we have split shifts, so I'll come in on a Saturday and run it. It'll take me half an hour. Uh, another, another operator will come in on a Sunday and do the same. And that's, it's running all weekend. And how's your setup? I can see some tombstones here. So what's the yes. type of work you're putting on there? Uh, we can vary. We, I mean, we've got one pallet at the moment that we can do vice work. We've got tombstones for bigger billets. And we've also got the rest of them are cubes. So we each four sides, uh, any size billet really. And it's a 15 pallet machine. Yes. So how does that help you? That's a lot of pallets. Yes, it's brilliant. I mean, we can have, obviously right now one is running. And whilst that's running, I could be setting up multiple pallets as that's running. The spindle's running 24-7. So with the spindle running 24-7, how reliable is this machine? Oh, very reliable. I've not had one job scrapped yet in about a year, so all my tool life and everything, it's, it's brilliant. So tell me some features of the machine that you like as an operator. Um, I like the tool brake detects it has. Uh, so for example, if a tool breaks, it'll put that pallet away and that tool away, bring the next pallet, pallet out and work that without even stopping at all. Uh, we don't need an operator here to do that. And as well, the tool life is brilliant. Um, just the pallet system itself, it's just second to none. And what about the control panel? How do you find that? Easy, uh, easy easiest, easiest machine I've been on. So what are you making on here? What's like the parts and the capacity sizes? Uh, very really. I mean, we've got, we can have smaller parts, um, vice work. Um, we can even go, we, now we've got tombstones. We can do a lot bigger billets as well. And what materials are you cutting? Aluminium. It's all soft metal on this machine, yeah. Do you feel like you're pushing the machine to its limit or do you think you've got I a lot think more we in are it? at the moment, to be honest. No, I mean, we've only got so many pallets workable. Um, we're just building it up every few months, we'll get a new pallet and we're just doing it step by step. So people say uh, volume is the key to automation. Would you agree or disagree with that? Um, probably disagree really. I mean we've got, obviously like now for example I've got a 200 off on, uh, but after this I'll be setting up a 2 or 3 off. Uh, it's just, just whatever, just works whatever you can do. And you're not having to stop the machine because you're already, you're always loading whilst the spindle's turning. Yes, exactly. So it doesn't matter whether it's a 200 off or a 3 off, the machine's still running. OK, so value for money. Um, I don't know whether you were part of the purchasing process, uh, but how does Matsura perform in terms of return on investment? Um, well, I'm not really, I've not really been part of the purchasing of this machine, but myself as an operator, I'd see like I say, it just runs all the time. The work that comes off it, I probably do 50% of the work in this place from it. It's, it's brilliant. I know you've got other machines in the machine shop that you're not as keen on now because you've kind of called this one your baby, haven't you? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I don't <laughs> want to ever be taken off this. <laughs> um, right, about service and support, how have Matsura coped here? Brilliant, second to none. I mean, say, for example, I've got a service coming up in a few weeks, I'll get an email telling me what orders I need, I can get it ready for them. It's just they come in, they're at, it might take a day or two days, they're done, they're brilliant. I guess what you're trying to say is Matsura want that spindle turning as much as you do. Yes, yes, yeah? yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, and monitoring the machine when it's unmanned, do you have like webcams or anything like that? Uh, no, I just do it, uh, for example, in the morning, I'll know exactly how long, because uh, it basically times each pallet. So I know like pallet three, for example, be three hours pallet, two might be two hours. And I can work off that so I can set my work up in the day, ready for the night, so I know it might, if I know it's going to finish at six o'clock in the morning and I start at half seven, I can pull in pallet 13 and that might give me another three hours. 
So are you telling me that it's not very often that you'll come in and the machine stopped? Yeah, it's never, it's never stopped. I don't even need an operator on it at night either. So just to finalise, any extras on the machine that you like? It's, I absolutely love this machine. I hope they never take, it, take me off it. It's just, as an operator, it's a dream. Absolute dream. Like I said, don't need a night shift on it. Just load it. I mean, some of the jobs I've already done, I don't even, I don't even watch them. I walk away. I'm that confident.